Here's another type of proof by induction, one with inequalities. So we want to show for n greater than or equal to 1, the n factorial is less than or equal to n to the nth power. Now recall the definition of n factorial. So n is going to be some positive integer. We take 1, 2, 3, all the way up through n, and then multiply all those numbers together. So if we check the first few n for our statement, for n equal to 1, that's just going to be 1. Then I have 1 to the 1, which is also 1. So 1 is less than or equal to 1, and that checks out. For n equal to 2, we have 2 factorial. It's equal to 2 times 1. On the other side, we have 2 to the second power, which is 4. That checks out also. One more. We have 3 factorial. 3 times 2 times 1. Less than or equal to 3 cubed, which is 27. And again, that holds. OK, what we'll see is, as n gets larger, n to the n is going to pull away very quickly. Now, let's recall what we're doing with induction. The idea is that we're doing a ladder argument. So the idea is going to be, to get on the ladder, that's going to be our base case. Here it'll be n equal to 1. Then we're going to have an induction step. So what the induction step says, if I can get onto one rung, I have a rule that gets me to the rung above it. So the way we translate that, if the kth statement is true, then we have an argument that shows the k plus first statement is true. And that's our induction step. So we get on the ladder, and then I have a rule that lets me climb to any rung that I want. Now, for our problem at hand, okay, our statement piece of n is just that n factorial less than or equal to n to the nth power. For our base case, we've already seen we have 1 less than or equal to 1. So our base case holds. Now, for our induction step, we're going to assume that the kth statement's true. And using that, we want to prove that the k plus first statement's true. So we're assuming that k factorial is less than or equal to k to the kth power. I want to show k plus 1 factorial is less than or equal to k plus 1 to the k plus first power. So we'll start with k plus 1 factorial. I'm just going to write the definition out. It's k plus 1, k, k minus 1, all the way down to 1. Then you'll notice, okay, if I want to get k factorial into the picture so we can use our assumption, well, if we forget about the k plus 1, what's left over is k factorial. Okay, we're starting at k, going all the way down. So that gets us to this step. Then by our assumption, k factorial is less than k to the kth power. So we'll have a less than or equals here. Then, okay, I'll show the step on the next board. We're going to have that k to the kth power is less than or equal to k plus 1 to the kth power. Okay, that's essentially because k is less than k plus 1. Now, with that, we combine. This part here is equal to k plus 1 to the k plus first power which is what we're trying to show. So that's our induction step. To see our start inequality, there are two ways we can see this rigorously. For the first method, you could use another proof by induction. I'll leave that as an exercise. For our second method, we can use the binomial theorem. I only need the first part of the binomial theorem. So what we have is, okay, in our case, we have a, b, and n positive integers. I take a plus b to the nth power. When I expand this, we have a to the n plus n, a to the n minus 1 times b, then other terms. And since a and b are positive, what's left over is also going to be a sum of positive numbers. Now, if we use k plus 1 to the k, here our n is k, a is k, b is 1. Our first few terms look like k to the k plus k times k to the k minus 1 times 1. And sum of positive integers. So all we need here is this first term to be able to say that this is greater than or equal to k to the k. That shows our start inequality. Now, since we have a proof by induction, we just give our proof formal closure by saying, since the base case and the induction step are true, our statement is true for all n greater than or equal to 1. Finally, 
we can see our statement directly. So what we would do here is, if we have n factorial less than or equal to n to the nth power, we can divide both sides by n to the nth power to get the equivalent statement, n factorial over n to the n is less than or equal to one. To show this, okay, I'll write out the definition of n factorial. So we go n, n minus one, n minus two, three, two, one, multiply it out. For n to the nth power, we're just multiplying n by itself n times. So for each term of n factorial, we're gonna have a term for n to the n. If we line everything up, then n over n is one, n minus one over n is a number that's less than or equal to one, and we're gonna have this less than or equal to one for each as we move on down. When I take the product, since all of these numbers are less than or equal to one, then the product's less than or equal to one, and that shows proof of our statement directly.